Hello everyone and welcome to Straight Talk with Theodora. I am Theodora Edu. This time round, I decided to take a trip to a couple of African countries to bring you views from women on what they think about a global issue. Now, we're not talking about COVID-19. Yes, COVID-19 is a global issue, but there are other global issues as well. One global issue is the issue of racism. Racism has lived with us for so many years and is still living with us now. And that brought about the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, this is a movement that is not new. It has been in existence for a while, but it has recently become a global movement. And this is due to the recent and unfortunate incidents of police brutalities in the United States that has led to the death of George Floyd, Ahmad, and a couple of other people. It's rather sad how black lives are being lost in this manner. So I decided to seek the views of these women in these selected African countries on what the Black Lives Matter movement means to them as an African woman, what impact it has had or it is having on the African woman. And these are what they've got to say. My name is Millicent from Kenya and these are my views as an African woman towards the Black Lives Matter campaign and why it's important to me. The Black Lives Movement is a human rights movement. We cannot live in a society where a single life does not matter. The idea that we begin to perpetuate a narrative, a very wrong one at that, very misleading and distasteful narrative, that a particular race is higher than the other, is where the problem lies. Because at the end of the day, we are just one human race. Black Lives Matter is a movement that started in the US, is global, and Africa is not indifferent to the Black Lives Matter movement. Recently, with the sad and unfortunate death of George Floyd in the US, we saw protests around the US, protests in several countries of the world, including Africa, and many Africans, myself included, took to social media to mourn his death, to demand an end to police brutality in the U.S. and to call for justice for George Floyd. The Black Lives Matter movement is influencing us on the continent in the sense that it has encouraged us to ask tough questions about inequalities and injustices here in Africa. Our experience with racism in Africa may not be the same as the experience of those who are in the US, but we have a history of colonialism on the continent and um, this bears similar features with what is happening in the US. Colonialism is in our past, but the effects of it are very much alive in our day to day. So the movement, like I said, is, is empowering us to ask tough questions and also inspiring similar movements to address these uh, inequalities that we have in the systems in the countries around Africa. There is only one race. There are multiplicity of ethnic groups from different parts of the continent with different cultural belief system and way of life, yes. But there is not one other ethnic group that is superior to any other. So first and foremost, let us scratch that. There is only one human race by humankind. And all of us belong to that. Somebody may have a superior idea. It doesn't make you a superior human being than another person. Because your fantastic idea in a particular context may not be as superior, in quote, in another context where somebody else proffers a better solution. We are all part of the human connectivity. And for that singular reason, our contributions is what matters. What are we adding to society? The Black Lives Movement became so critical simply because we have a situation where 
systemic entrenching of legal laws that are designed to diminish, marginalize, discriminate, deny, disempower a certain group of ethnic group have been done over time and has been allowed to fester. And this must stop today. So for us in Africa, as we relate to the Black Lives Matter, the thing here is this. We cannot be bystanders. If we think the Black Lives Matter over there is not our problem, that's a big mistake because in the entire bigger picture, here it is at home. Patriarchy is eating or has eaten so deep into our cultural system, it's eroding the values of women. And not just women, even men. A situation where society denies men the right to express feelings. A situation where a woman, by the definition of cultural practices, is made to subject herself through heinous, horrendous, horrible cultural practices called the widowhood rights, enabled by other matriarchs. We need to begin to have the conversation about, does a widow life not matter? Does a child in a relationship where a mother and father exist that has been abused, be chosen in a situation where a woman chooses a marriage over her own daughter. Those are other enabling systems, and enabling actions and practices that many of us, one way or the other, enable in our society that needs to be overhauled. Every child lives matter. Every human lives matter. The black life matter it's a human rights conversation. It's a human right matter. And we all must begin to understand that every ethnic group lives matter. When we can address some of the systemic issues relating to black lives matter, it now gives us a better picture in eliminating all the forms of discrimination, all the forms of systemic, legalized, organized forms of denial of one ethnic group, their right to survive and thrive. As an African living in America, systematic racism has not only affected blacks living in America, but Africans as well. There is an adage in the Ghanaian language that if you see your friends be on fire, you have to make water available for yourself. As an African mother, I am scared for the systematic racism that have been leveled against our sons and daughters brothers and sisters and husbands and other black relatives. It is my prayer that a time will come when I don't have to teach my son how to stay alive when he encounters police. It is also my prayer that my children will not be judged based on their color of their skin, but what they bring to the table. The change of racism starts from you and I change your ideology black life matter racism is real let your voice count thank you hello my name is Winnie Akide from Uganda black lives matter to me means we all have equal opportunities regardless of our skin color and uh, our issues are all as important as any other persons in the name of humanity black lives matter as a woman, anywhere in the world, it is our desire to see that the fruits of our womb, our brothers, our sisters, aunts, and uncles, they get to flourish regardless of where they are and don't live in fear that they may be the next victim of police brutality. Black lives are important. They deserve to be fought for. They need to be fought for. Also, police and other people who are practicing brutality towards black lives, I would like to tell them that if anyone is on the wrong side of the law, there are measures and procedures of how to handle the situation. And these measures are there to be followed. So, protect black lives. Thank you. Kwaheri.